Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to install the QEMU guest agent on Proxbox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first we have to know what QEMU guest agent is, okay? So actually it's an daemon that is installed on the guest operating system okay and it's used to exchange information between the host and the guest so in this case the guest is our virtual machine and the host is our hypervisor proxmox okay so actually this daemon which allows us as i told you to exchange info between the host and the guest and also to execute commands in the guest operating system okay so it's actually mainly used for three things okay so it's used to properly shut down the guest operating system okay so this is the first case the, the second thing is to freeze the guest file system and it is very very helpful in case for example when you are doing some backups on or if you are doing some snapshot on your operating system it's used to freeze the guest file system and finally it's also used in the phase when the guest virtual machine is resumed after a pause for example okay so in this video we're gonna show how you can actually install it on a virtual machine here we'll take as an example ubuntu machine okay so for example let's take a look at this uh, ubuntu server here okay so this is virtual machine that is running okay so if you take a look at its summary as you can see here there is actually a section here with ips so you can see there is no ips displayed for this virtual machine because actually no guest as you can read here no guest agent is configured okay so we're gonna actually configure a guest agent on the guest which is kubernetes server and you will see that after doing that we can get the ip address of the guest machine here which is kubernetes server okay so first thing first let's connect actually to the Kubernetes server here in order to install the guest or the QMU guest agent. So I'm gonna launch my uh, terminal here and I'm gonna SSH to the IP address of the Kubernetes server here. Okay, so here we go. So here I have to provide the password. I guess it's correct and we are in. Okay, so as you can see here we have the IP address of our guest machine here okay so let's install uh, actually the QMU guest agent but before that let's update the repo so I'll do apt update of course I have to provide once again the password here we go so the repositories are being updated now and after that we are gonna actually install the KMU guest agent okay here we go we have updated so in order to install the KMU guest agent simple as always sudo apt install then the KMU dash guest then agent here we go enable to locate so actually it didn't locate this KMU uh, guest agent so actually I have mistyped here the QEMU okay so make attention to the typos here here we go now it has found it so we gonna just hit enter in order to continue and the QMU guest agent is being now installed and it's installed here just we have to agree here we go 
so the guest agent is actually now installed okay so after that we're gonna actually enable the KMU a guest agent in order to start when the system boots so for that simple command for the Linux operating system is actually system CTL okay enable and here the name of the service which is key emu guest guest agent here we go unknown command verb enable okay enable so i always make mistakes here we go so now the service is enabled okay so all we have to do now is to reboot our machine and verify that the service is enabled because here we have set, set the service to be started when the system boots so let's uh, reboot our uh, machine here here we go the connection is closed so the service will be actually or actually the server will be rebooted so as you can see here on the console of this virtual machine the system is rebooting so we will wait for it to complete its reboot and we will actually enter it via SSH okay now so the system has been uh, restarted so let's go once again to our console here and let's log on to the kubernetes server here we go okay we are in so let's verify that uh, the QMU guest agent service is running. So we'll do that using the command system ctl status this time and the server name, which is in this case QEMU guest guest agent. Oh, actually I know what is wh why it is not started because I forget to tell you that we have to enable it in the Proxmox server okay so actually I have to go here to the summary Kubernetes to go to the summary tab to options and here you can see QMU guest agent by default is disabled so I'm gonna click on it edit it and use QMU guest agent I have to check this uh, mark here and the type we use the default one okay then okay then after that actually we have to restart our uh, to reboot our machine here here we go so it was a mistake you have actually to enable this option before actually rebooting your operating system so now you can see it's starting once again Here we go okay now so the kubernetes server has been started so let's go back to our console and verify that the service is running so here we go i'm connected to my kubernetes server let's verify the service is running 
and as you can see now the service is actually running okay so the QMU guest agent is running so let's verify now on the summary tab that we get some info about our uh, IP address that before was actually not available so if we click on our virtual machine summary and here we go you can see now that I get actually the IP address of the running machine because before installing the agent this information wasn't available but now it's available it's gave me actually the IP address of my uh, internal actually card okay and also because I installed Kubernetes it's, it's gave me also the IP address of uh, actually Docker okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to install the QMU guest agent on the virtual machine. Okay. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.